today is the day when we start learning how Terraform or IAC work in the production environment. Hello everyone, my name is Arun and welcome to Pachera Talks channel. And as I said, you know, till now we try to understand the various syntax of the Terraform and we all are working from our uh, local laptop or the local machine or computer. Uh, so whenever we create a resource, it creates a TF state file. We all know what it is, right? But uh, we need to understand uh, when we create a resource, a TF state file generates uh, the current state of that environment, but it stays it stays with us in our local laptop or the machine. But the thing is. You cannot, you are not the only one, first of all, in the organization who will be deploying these infrastructure. Second, you may be working on a project and once the infrastructure is deployed, you are out of that uh, particular project. So your TF state file will not be there anymore. You'll not be working with that project. So essence of the story is not a single guy is doing to going to deploy the Terraform uh, code for the infrastructure. Let's understand this on this Excel sheet. Let's suppose we have three DevOps engineer, okay, and they are deploying infrastructure from their computer right that's how we do it now the thing is if i'm deploying from this computer let's suppose uh, devops one then i would have the tf state file let's call it one for DevOps one on in this particular laptop or computer and similarly for two let's suppose it would be two and let's suppose for three it would be three right now this would have the current state of infrastructure for this particular code and similarly these people would have their in information and this would have the third one would have current state of whatever code he has deployed the third one is deployed right now i can write it down here that would help us understand current state as per tf state file one right similarly we would have these two two and the third one okay this is for third one okay so what this picture represent we have multiple tf state file we have we do not have a single source of truth that's what iac for that's one of the feature like you you would have the single source of truth and second of all you cannot wait for like devops what one engineer would come only then i can deploy in this vnet uh, once the two will come then i can only deploy in this particular resource group so this is not the this is not the way we work in the production environment that we need to understand this is not the way so what is the correct way of doing what is the way we work in the production environment that we need to understand right so how we do it in the production environment we do this way everybody 
will be deploying in the same location all right in the same location and what location would that be that would be your cloud storage there would be a cloud storage for example if we are talking about azure right now so there would be azure storage account okay if we talk about aws there would be s3 bucket okay we will put the tf state file here somewhere and what syntax we're going to use how we can do that for this we have something called terraform backend terraform backend this is what we use terraform backend and with the help of this we place the tf state file here and everybody can refer from here the single source of the truth of your environment so this is what we are going to learn today terraform backend so today we are not going to talk about the code that we have already been through so i'm not writing the code again i have just copied it there i was just doing the test before i come to the video call so it is already there right here so this is not the code actually we are going to talk about this is the code just creating the storage account okay where we can place our state file so this is just a storage account where we are placing the tf state file nothing much it simply says resource group i gave the name resource group backend rg this is the storage account i gave the random name to the storage account Ref and it's referring to the this resource group okay and i created a container named terraform that's what we are doing here so let's quickly do that terraform in it and terraform apply okay we do not need this particular storage account in our state file because state file holds the entire infrastructure and this storage account we are creating to keep our tf state file that is the reason you can create this storage account manually as well okay and this will help you to keep the single source of the truth and all the state file together why i'm saying all the state file because infrastructure uh, code you do not deploy a huge chunk of code every time there is a single modification as i already mentioned in the previous videos we approach uh, differently or i would say the we call it a layered approach there would be a multiple layers for example right now if i could show you there are two folders main is deploying the storage account in data we will understand the backend similarly we would have different like for compute there would be one layer for network for storage different layers and you can refer that particular state file and deploy resources okay cool now let's get back to data i need to show you the data code which is more important and then we'll deploy so right now uh, we have created a storage account one container named terraform but why why we are here we are here to learn terraform.tf and i'll show you why i've created the storage account from terraform the usually uh, we can create it with the manually because that's not a part of IAC that would help us to achieve the IAC all right this is what the code I'm talking about terraform and backend this is the chunk of code which would help you keep your terraform tf state file remotely in the storage account and all your DevOps engineer can refer to it while deploying anything. So what is the syntax? It's backend, it's Azure RM. We are learning Azure. If you remember provider Azure RM, even here Azure RM. So it's Azure RM. Storage account name, where we are keeping the state file. It's the TF store, TF state, 
2321 that is the storage account name I have given in the previous Terraform code that's a container name and key key is the name of the TF state file that I'm going to keep there you can have for example I was talking about the layered approach for compute you can call it compute.terraform for storage you can call it storage.terraform for network you can call it network.terraform right so that's how this works okay all right and what we are doing in this particular data we are creating one more oh it's we are not creating we are referring okay we are fetching the information from all whatever resources has been created so don't focus on that code much this is just like we are creating a managed disk but we want to keep the tf state file of this code here in the storage account with the help of backend that's what we are trying to do here okay so let me quickly initiate it terraform in it uh, it is saying i need to export the uh, keys so let me quickly go ahead and export the keys that is a good thing it come up here so that you realize when we create the storage account to access the storage account we gotta have the permissions we gotta have the access key so i need to export the access key here so that i can upload or put this file there okay and here is the way you can grab that for example for me it's because i'm using powershell i'm not using the linux thing arm key equal to i need to put the access key right here and now i can initiate okay i did some mistake okay it's oh, maybe i got excited too much all right you, you can see even there it says initializing the back end okay let me deploy it terraform apply and i'll show you in the azure storage account how it looks like it's applying right now just wait so uh, meanwhile i hope you got an idea about the layered approach but don't worry we'll do that part as well in the upcoming videos and also for now we are keeping this file in the storage account so that everybody can refer it and it would be a single source single source of truth however there is something that we need to understand how to fetch information from the data.terraform.tf state file if you need it in in your code later or maybe once there is some kind of modification required okay all right so we'll learn that part as well in our next video for now uh this is the storage account right here tf store tf state right here this is the terraform container that has been created and this is the state file right here you can see right and if I open it up, edit, you can see that's the JSON file and all the information we have created the days can all is here under this ARG resource group is here. All right. Wonderful. Let me minimize this now you can see under main we have this state file right here but if i go to data i don't have state file because it has been put it in the back end in next video will refer 
information from the backend state file and we'll also talk about the layered approach and slowly and steadily we'll cover the entire terraform with azure hopefully so thank you for watching yeah wonderful day let's meet in another video bye bye